Mill Creek Peaks Branch State Thomas Drainage Relief Tunnel, or simply known as the Mill Creek Tunnel Project. Uh, it's in Dallas, Texas. The owner is the city of Dallas. The purpose of this project is to mitigate extreme flooding that's taken place in the city of Dallas. It costs money. We're talking billions of dollars every time you have a flood. It impacts a lot of residential neighborhoods. It impacts businesses. It flooded out Baylor Hospital, the emergency room. We've had some floods in this area that have been seven feet deep. That's why we needed to upgrade the systems to provide additional capacity to reduce the flooding in those areas. The tunnel is designed to be an inverted siphon. So if you could see a profile of the shafts and then tunnel through the Austin chalk, this shaft over here is lower than all the other shafts. So when it rains, it definitely will pop up. And then if it gets too much and it, that culvert can't handle it, it just rises up and goes right out over into White Rock Creek over the ground. So it's a simple system. This tunnel was designed to have two diameters uh, since it's covering a large area with multiple drop shafts. As you go downstream, uh, the flow requirements increase uh, with each drop shaft with the final one third of the tunnel requiring a significantly higher flow rate. I think early on, a lot of it was based on the ability to, or the possibility of the TBM conversion. I think Robbins and Southland uh, really got together to discuss whether or not the conversion would be an option. And then once that was determined, it was getting with the city and getting them on board. And once we presented them with how that process would go, being a realistic option, I think that they uh, were excited. I think it provided them a more logical method of giving them their desired finished product. By going with a diameter change, we didn't require secondary operation for invert removal, and that allowed the whole project to be moved forward, uh, bringing a critical infrastructure project online quicker. The big notable thing with the machine, and I think that makes it unique, is that we managed to reduce the diameter during the tunnel drive without any disassembly chamber. As far as I know, it's never been done before. What we did is we started with a concept of a small machine and we took the small machine and made it complete. Then we made a kit, so to speak, a second skin that was ever so slightly larger. And then when the time came, we just took that skin off. And in essence, it's that simple. Each step presented a different challenge that we didn't quite see. And so working together to adapt and change the plan and, and get the work done, a lot of credit to the guys in the field. They worked tirelessly to, to make it happen and uh, really should be a proud accomplishment for everybody on the job. Robbins was the only company that would come through and say we could do this conversion for you on the machine because it's never been done before in mid-tunnel. Having the Robbins Field Service crew bring their knowledge of large diameter machines and long length tunnels, it was really helpful in coming with a solution. And once we decide on the solution, I'll tell you what, these lads here at Southland, man, they would get after it. What this project does is shows the industry some of the things that are possible and opens up really new creativity and new solutions for future projects. Like many projects, uh, the best part of the project is uh, when the machine finally breaks through. Uh, this occurred in July of this year, 2022.